hallo, dit is uh, de Risk and Compliance uh, microfoon weer met Therese de Villeneuve. Ik uh, heb hier naast mij staan Thomas uh, uh, Caesar. Ja, yeah. and uh, he is from the United States and he joined uh, the, the first ever compliance uh, summer school. And uh, uh, first, maybe you can say at what uh, company you're, you're working, because it's an interesting mix of countries. <laughs> sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm the head of GRC for a diversified retailer in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. Thank you. Uh, well, very interesting and uh, also in quite another uh, environment than, uh, than, uh, than here. Um, uh, I would like to ask you, what, uh, what were your feelings about the first uh, uh, day of this summer school? Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, I the speakers were incredibly uh, well-versed in their areas of expertise, um, fascinating uh, information about the landscape in Europe, uh, as well as the human side and the human components of uh, the risk and compliance field, which I think is uh, really the future of where uh, compliance is going. Uh, really informative and highly contributive in terms of um, uh, the value uh, for any compliance professional. Thank you. So, you, uh, am, am I right by saying that you think that compliance is slowly moving from implementation of legislation to more investigative and uh, interviewing uh, capabilities? Well, not just, uh, not just the investigation piece. I think compliance is really evolving to understand uh, the human components of it. So, if you look at uh, the uh, advent of ESG aspects and its relationship with compliance directives. Um, it's not just the legal uh, aspects, the regulatory aspects of it, which are relevant now. It's the human aspects. It's the social aspects. It's the civil uh, society uh, components that really are making a difference uh, uh, and where I think compliance uh, and risk professionals can make the most uh, uh, contributions. Uh, that's what's really coming to light, and I think this conference really illuminated that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, one last question. Do you think this, uh, this the development of the compliance function is either challenging, or is it a, a probably uh, 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 encouraging, or is it both? <laughs> Is the compliance uh, professional challenging and, and or yeah probably uh, both <laughs> yeah, I both. would say yeah it's yeah, it's it, yeah. it it's it really requires a diverse uh, skill set yeah um, and an appreciation of where uh, society civil society is moving um, but I think compliance officers are well equipped uh, to do that because they work with such a diverse range of stakeholders. Um, so uh, it's, it'll be really interesting to see how this all coalesces together, um, uh, but certainly training is necessary. So this, is, this has been a really fantastic opportunity, and thank you very much for, uh, for having me. Thank you very much uh, for, uh, for this interview, and thank you very much for your very valuable uh, contribution to this, uh, to, to this uh, uh, interview. Thank you. Thank you.